What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today's video I want to talk about iPhone 10 features that you are not using. Now many of these do apply to basically every other iPhone out there, but of course some of these are exclusive to the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8. Anyways, I hope you learned something new in this video, even if it's just one or two new things. But yeah, let's get started. Alright, so number one, swiping and multitasking between apps on the iPhone 10 using the bottom bar. Now I personally have had the iPhone 10 for so long, I know that feature is there, but I never actually use it. I feel like this has the biggest learning curve, or at least for me it does. Just being able to get used to it and just knowing it's there and just using it throughout your daily life. It's so useful and quick. For example, if you want to swipe between your notes and your Safari app and just take notes like that, it's so, so cool and makes multitasking so much better. Number two, swiping left on Safari tabs to close out of them as opposed to tapping on the X. Now, this might be embarrassing, but I just found out about this feature. I usually always just tap the X and it could be quite cumbersome you always miss you can just simply swipe left to close out the tabs so much faster number three accessibility shortcuts now I use this feature a lot so basically if you open up settings go to general accessibility and scroll all the way down until you find accessibility shortcut you can go to tap right there and you can reduce a white point or smart invert colors enable any one of those if you want to but I would just recommend doing one and this is really useful so for example if you are in the dark and you want to dim your screen very quickly all you do is triple press your lock button and there you go you have less strain on your eyes now when you move to a brighter place again you can do the same thing and make your screen brighter and this is without fidgeting around with control center I use this feature a ton and you can also put it to smart invert colors to get a sort of dark mode on your device very quickly and get out of it number four now you guys probably know that on iOS 11 you can move multiple apps apps at once so all you do is put your app in mugga mode tap on any other app that you want to move and it's going to move it over now the pain in this is that if you want to move it to another page you drag it to the edge wait for the page to swipe over and keep on doing the thing until you get over to the page that you want very slow very annoying but did you know while you're holding those apps down you can simply use your other finger and swipe between the pages very quickly i know it may seem like a very simple feature but many people don't know about this number five now a really cool feature about the iphone 10 is that when your screen is locked and you get a message or notification it won't show what it says unless you look at your screen and basically unlock your phone now if you like that privacy but don't to have an iPhone 10, you can simply open up settings, go to notifications, and show previews, and over here, just set it to when unlocked. By default, on any other phone, it's set to always. So you can make sure that your text messages don't get leaked on your lock screen. Number six. Now, again, if you go to settings, general, accessibility, and scroll all the way down to accessibility shortcuts, you can select multiple, more importantly, smart invert colors. And now, if you go back to the beginning of settings, you can go to control center, customize controls, and here, put in accessibility shortcuts. Hit that plus icon. And now, if you swipe down to bring up control center, there's a new New icon so I'm going to tap right there I'm going to tap on smart invert colors so now if you're texting at night and you want even less strain on your eyes all you do is put that on and you're basically good to go you now have a dark mode and this dark mode is not perfect so you can just go and turn it off once you are done number seven now I rarely see people use iMessage effects and they're so so cool so if you're on iMessage and you're about to send a message all you do is hold down on the send button until you get this menu right here of course if you have a 3d touch device you 3d touch but anyways, you can choose from invisible ink, so they basically have to like scratch it off to see what it says. There's gentle, so it's very, very small, and it gets bigger, and then it gets loud. You can also have slam, which is pretty cool. There's also screens, if you go and tap on the tab on the top. There's so many that you guys could choose from. And it's make texting so much more fun. There's many to choose from. There's a spotlight, there's a balloons, and so many more. Let me just go through some more with you guys. And yeah, so they really make texting and iMessage a lot cooler. And this is really what iMessage is great for. Number eight. Now the iPhone 10 screen can get a little big. So what you could do is once you bring up your keyboard, you can tap and hold on the emoji icon to bring your keyboard to the right or left side of your device. This way you could type a lot quicker with one hand. Number nine. Now you guys know that iOS 11 brought the ability to screen record on your device so if you go to settings control center and customize controls you can enable screen recording by just bringing it to the top but what a few people don't know is that if you bring that control center you can go to 3d touch this control and basically turn on your microphone audio so you have sound you can record your device's sound 
by making a loud and your own voice. Number 10, wireless charging. Now the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10 have wireless charging because of their glass backs, but there are still many people that don't utilize this feature. I thought it would be a gimmick, but it's not, especially at night. So you just set your phone down and it will start charging. When you get a text, you just pick up your phone and see what it is, put it back and it'll start charging again. You don't have to fiddle around with their wire. It's great. Number 11. Now you guys know how annoying it is when apps keep on asking you to review the app, that annoying pop-up. So to get rid of that, you can actually do it. So go to settings and go down to iTunes and App Store. And over here, you will find this option right here in app ratings and reviews. You can disable that. So basically you will never get that pop-up ever again. I wish I knew about this before. Number 12. Force restart the iPhone 10. Now it can be a little bit tricky on the iPhone 10 because Apple did switch it up. But if your iPhone 10 ever does freeze, don't just wait for the battery to die. Instead, you can force turn off your iPhone 10 and turn it back on. Now to force turn it off, quickly press the volume up button, then volume down button, and then hold down only the lock button until your device turns off. Simple as that. Number 13. Now, did you guys know you can actually pin certain notes so that they stay on the top? All you do is swipe right on a note, and there you go. Now it is pinned to the top. Now, to unpin it, I can do the same thing, and it will unpin. All right, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned at least one new thing. Please hit that like button, and also be sure to get subscribed so you don't miss out on another video, and it does help support the channel. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.